All right, peace, Israel. All praise, honor, and glory to you. Ba'ashem Yahushah. Ba'ashem Ha'kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. I'm going to go into this lesson about Yahweh Shai being the bread of life. Okay. And this is from the book of St. John, the sixth chapter. All right. And I'm going to read the heading. Okay. It says, uh, the Lord feedeth 5,000 with five loaves and two fishes. He walketh on the sea, the multitude flocking unto him. He reproveth their carnal views, etc. Okay. And since I read that last part, I'm going to get straight to the point. All right. And this is St. John 5 and... Uh, Let's see, we can start at verse uh, 26. It says, Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me, not because ye saw miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. And then he goes on to say, <clears throat> Salakia, labor not for the meat which perish it. All right. Don't labor for the meat that perish it. It says, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath the heavenly for him hath the most high the Father sealed. Okay. It says, Then said they unto him, <clears throat> What shall we do? That we might work the works of the heavenly father. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them. This is the work of the heavenly father. That ye believe on him. Whom he had sent. And that's talking about the Lord man. Okay. He's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. Speaking about himself. Okay. Because he is the bread of life. Okay. But I want to go back up. And, uh, touch on a point where it says labor not for the meat which perisheth okay but for that which meat which endureth forever unto everlasting life okay because following Yahweh Shai leads to life everlasting okay and any other way is going to have you destroyed okay so we are to labor Towards doing the good will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Not labor for meat which perish. Okay. Everything else. All these things. Okay. Will fail. Okay. Only Yahweh Shai. Okay. Will not fail. Okay. He will lead to life uh, eternal. Okay. And in 26, that's where the rebuke came, okay? He said, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat the loaves and were filled. That's just like, you know, if we were on the block passing our food, we'd have to fight Jake away, man, okay? Jake would be there every week, hands out, okay? But here it is, we're preaching meat that perisheth not is is a ghost town okay with the exception of the brothers that come out and listen okay <clears throat> because that's how our people are man okay so it says labor not for the meat which perisheth all right but for that which for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life okay so let me go back to verse, uh, I'm going to read 29 again. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, this is the work of the heavenly father that ye believe on him whom he had sent. And again, that's talking about the Lord himself. Okay. 
believing on Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna jump over. I want to read verse 48. So this is St. John uh, 4, I mean, uh, 6 and 48. It says, I am the bread of life. Okay. Matter of fact, let me go up. Verse 47, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So that's the point. Okay. Verse 48 says, I am the bread of life. Okay, so the Lord is that bread of life, and we have to believe in Yahweh Shah, or believe on Yahweh Shah. Okay, uh, like the scriptures say, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, okay, and that's the way we have to believe on the Lord, the way that the scripture says, not the way that uh, this plantation Christianity speaks, okay, or, or teaches about the Lord. They won't teach you that the Lord was austere. Okay, they won't teach you that he was a Judite, a so-called uh, Negro. Okay, they won't teach you that he only came for his people. Okay, starting with the elect. Okay, uh, let me get another. Let me get another scripture. I want to go to the book of uh, Sirach, the fifteenth chapter, and. I'm going to start at verse 1. Let me do this too. All right. So that old screen don't tell me. Right? This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus <clears throat> chapter 15 and 1. It says, he that feareth the Lord will do good. Okay. Because again, as we, you know, constantly say, as the scripture says, we must have a healthy fear of the heavenly father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Why? As a matter of fact, let me get a scripture. All right. Hell, I could have just read. Uh, <laughs> Rocky. All right. Um. Not the one I want. Let me get the one in Proverbs. All right. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So, okay. The fear of the Lord is the beginning. Okay. Of knowledge. All right. Um. Uh, Let's see. That's another one I want to get. Yeah, this is it. This is uh, Proverbs 9 and 10. <clears throat> it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. You see, the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Okay, understanding what? This word, which is what? Yahweh Shai. Okay, so back here in Sirach 15 and 1, it says, He that feared the Lord will do good. And he that hath the knowledge, you see, the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. Okay, referred to as a her. Okay, and as a mother shall she meet him. And receive him as a wife married of a virgin. With bread of understanding shall she feed him. And give him the water of the wisdom to drink. Okay. With the bread of understanding. Okay. So there go that word bread again. Okay. And it's the bread of understanding. Understanding what? This word. Okay. Matter of fact, let me go back to St. John 6, and I'm going to start at, uh, hmm. 
I'm going to start at verse 32. This is St. John 6 and 32. It says, Then Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of the heavenly Father is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Okay? And I'm 100% sure that word world right there is talking about Israel. Okay? <clears throat> Cosmos. Okay? <clears throat> Salakia. All right? So, again, the Lord is the bread of life, man. Okay? Um. Let's see. It says, um, verse 35. Matter of fact, I'll read 34 again. It says, then said they unto him, Lord, I'm sorry, uh, 33 again. It says, for the bread of the heavenly father is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. All right, I'm going to read 35. It says, then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Believing in the Lord in truth, okay? Again, not as these plantation Christian Christians teach the Lord, okay? You have to believe in him as in truth, man, okay? With the what? The understanding, okay? Let me put this over here. All right. Okay, so where were we at? I read 35. I'm going to read it again. It says, uh, St. John 6 and 35. It says, And Yahweh shall say unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Okay, let me jump back a couple of chapters let's go to saint john 4 i'm gonna start at uh i'm gonna start at verse 12 this is saint john 4 and 12 it says um Yeah, I start right there. It says, Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the will and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. All right. Things that perish it. Okay. We are to look on spiritual things. Okay. It says, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, okay, shall never thirst. That's this understanding. Okay. The truth of the scriptures, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. You see? Let's see, let me go back. I want to get uh, see if I want to get this scripture. Let's see, go back to St. John 6 and uh, let me see something real quick because they got a precept right here. Let me see what it say. Bear with me one second. I didn't read this earlier. Where is it? Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to get there because that'll take a little explaining. All right. Let me. 
Let me get this scripture and we'll end it on this. Is this the one? Bear with me one second. No, no, lie. Okay. And you know what? I want to go back and we'll finish it off on this. This this will be the last one. I want to get some water, St. John 6. I'm going to read uh, verse 49 again. It says, uh, St. John 6. I started 48. I'm sorry. St. John 6 and 48. It says, I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. You see? <clears throat> this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. You see, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Okay, Israel. All right. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. Okay, the Lord is the bread of life. Okay, eternal. Okay, um, all praise on and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Makakodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.